that Jesus could come, you know, when, whenever he wants to, right? Weird coincidence that this is the Feast of Trumpets, the date, three days after the Feast of Trumpets that it happens to coincide on. And the morning star conjoins the king star on the dawn of the new year in Leo. All of these things are symbolic. Palm Sunday marks the end of the 69 weeks prophecy, begins the age when God's attention is turned to the Gentiles until our time is completed. Again, God's going to take that 70th week. So, this is what I want to ask you this morning. Will you be ready to welcome Messiah Jesus? The people at Palm Sunday were not ready to welcome Jesus truly. Because five days later, they were, instead of shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, they were shouting, crucify, crucify him. They did not know who was standing, who was riding before them. They missed him. And my question to you this morning is, are you ready to receive Jesus? Are you ready to receive the Messiah? Because he is coming, regardless of whether he comes on September 23rd, which, who knows, right? Regardless of whether he comes this year, next year, or 10 years from now, are you ready, or 100 years from now, who knows, are you ready if he came today? Are you ready to receive him? Do you have, have you, have you done all that you can in your life with the grace that has been given to you to be ministering that grace to others? Let's pray. God, thank you for just an incredible uh, sign from you. A sign in the heavens, Lord, that bears witness that you are God, that you are sovereign, and that all things happen according to your plan and your purpose. God, I pray that you would convict us and encourage us. I pray, Lord, that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit and give us the strength and the grace, Lord, to walk in righteousness, to yield our members to the Holy Spirit, that we might be used of you, Lord, in these dark days that are ahead of us. I pray, God, that we would be a community of people who love one another, who cherish one another, who look out for one another, who can depend on one another, who work out our problems, Lord, who are not vicious with one another, but are gentle and kind and loving and patient, because we're going to need each other, Lord, in the days ahead. And we ask your blessing upon us, Lord, and we thank you for all that you have done this day and every day. In Jesus' name we pray, and all God's people said, Amen. I want to leave you with this. Now unto him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen.